eating in general uh, here in Norway is incredibly expensive. In fact, uh, the tour I took uh, up to Preacher's Pulpit the other day basically cost the same as two meals at McDonald's. That's the difference. I mean, traveling across on a couple ferries, a bus ride, an admission to the park is comparable to a quick meal. Um, so I decided to go to the market um, this evening instead and pick up some food, especially because uh, Norway, being uh, on, on the coast as it is, um, makes a lot of focuses on seafood for a lot of their diet, which makes their seafood incredibly fresh um, and uh, a little cheaper uh, than you might expect to find elsewhere. The problem is, um, always, you know, anytime you shop in, in a foreign country, you never know exactly what you're purchasing. Now, I have a small uh, fridge in, in my room here, in, in, in the hostel, hotel, weird combination that it is, um, but no microwave or no way to cook anything. So I was looking for stuff that was pre-cooked or wouldn't require any cooking. Now, what I found um, were uh, a strange mixture of things, uh, most of which I, I figured was cooked, but wasn't sure if it was completely cooked or it needed some more cooking or, or, or just where it was. Now, the first um, were what I thought were shrimp uh, at, at the time when I purchased them. Uh, Krips uh, holler. Uh, these are not shrimp. Uh, in fact, they are crawfish tails, which I definitely was not expecting to find. And it also explains why their taste is probably a little more potent um, than I was expecting when I first uh, first got into them. Now, in addition, I found um, a little container, uh, well, I guess somewhat sizable container of fish roe or Arctic caviar. As, uh, as it's been labeled, and I, I generally enjoy fish roe and saw this and it looked really fresh and it's got a vibrant color to it. Um, and it was about the same price as a 20 ounce Coca-Cola, so I couldn't pass that up. Now the third item um, it is uh, some just diced and seasoned chicken. Uh, and then so what I've, what I've decided to do is just kind of mixing and matching all of them and uh, I picked up a couple rolls as well and so I've been taking the roll scooping up some of the caviar if you will taking a couple of the crawfish tails and piling those on and then just complementing them with a bit of chicken so the end result is something that looks a bit like that and it's a mouthful and it's a crazy assortment of flavors but it's really good mm. now the crawfish are definitely one of the most potent tastes um, in general I've noticed that the shrimp crawfish anything of that nature here it tends to be a little stronger uh, taste-wise, even though it's it's probably fresher than anything we would get back in Arizona. And uh, I don't know if that's just the region and then and, and the kind of regional species, or if it has to do with uh, how heavily they salt it, which so far has been fairly heavily. Uh, everything's been fairly heavily salted. Uh, all the seafood I've had. Um, Combined like that, you know, each each item is really good individually. But combined like that, the the fish eggs and the crawfish um, combine to kind of soften each other and really just kind of add a, a full, still fishy, still kind of shrimpy, um, but kind of more leveled flavor, which then allows the chicken to kind of come in and, and, and back that that flavor up really enjoying it and I'll definitely have to experiment again one of these evenings and preferably sooner rather than later. We'll see just what I end up with next time.